what we do at KTM, we'll, uh, you know, a record will come in the mail like this one, right? This release came in today, and we'll put it on a turntable and say, well, do we like it or do we not like it? And if we like it, we put it on the air within, within a certain amount of limitations. And mm -hmm. I think KTM is a station that goes more on gut feel than research. Uh, and in our case, it's worked real well. We have a certain amount of people gathered around us and gathered around us from the time that I've worked here. Mm -hmm. They've been very good at it. In some radio stations, the music director chooses all of the music. You know, he is the person who is required to listen to all the music and to really get into it. At this station, there are six music directors. Every disc jockey is free to program their own music. That being the case, um, we get to cover a wider variety of music. Oh, there's just there's no comparison. I mean, you know, the disc jockeys have freedom to talk about whatever they want. We have the freedom to play all of our own records in any order that we want. We don't have any real restrictions outside of swearing. You know, and bad taste, it's general bad taste, but musically, you can do interviews, you can do anything, you know, it's, it's, there's no restrictions here. The only restriction is that you be as creative and as on as you possibly can. I go around the record library and I just look, and um, if I see something that I think I want to play, I pull it out. I really, it's all done by covers. Uh -huh. It's all done with the hands, folks. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't really prepare myself to do a show. I just, things that I think that I might want to play and then... It all happens once I get in there. <laughs>